Nolajet here at the Duke. Get stuff in here, yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. And this episode of our restaurant review vlog, we're on a travel search for best burger options in the New Orleans area, visiting the Duke Bar and Grill, which was a new restaurant that had gained fame for their nice burgers. The Duke Bar and Grill was located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 2740 Severn Avenue, which is about 9 miles and 17 minutes away from the New Orleans French Quarter. The Duke Bar and Grill became known for having a good food menu with some nice choices that also featured a nice burger selection. You're invited to eat with me some of New Orleans' best bar and grill food as first we feast on a cheeseburger. As our restaurant review videos, we'll be exploring some of the best New Orleans restaurants. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. And wow, you just immediately see how they have lots of bright, vibrant colors in here with all sorts of painted murals and decorations and lots of bright, vibrant colors everywhere. I really like this bar area here, but I think we're going to go ahead and head on inside to the main dining room. And there's lots of uh, interesting things to see. There's the actual John Wayne, the Duke, right there. They've got some other people painted around this little dining room area as well. So let's see who some of these other folks are. It looks like Max Headroom on the right, then Sachimo, then Jim Morrison of the Doors. We have, uh, I think that's Marilyn Monroe right here. Then back around to John Wayne, the Duke, who the restaurant seems to be named after. So oh, it's uh, quite a nice little vibrant mix of colors in here. So let's take a look at the menu now. So we have starters with fried pickles, fried mac and cheese balls, onion rings, kicking chicken tenders, smoked chicken wings, the supreme ruler nachos. Then we have our signature fries or tots with chili cheese, bacon cheese, and piggy piggy. Then the Duke burgers and chicken, epic burger or chicken, royale, the Duke, dragon's breath, and Western Barbecue. On the other side of the menu, we have epic pastas with fettuccine alfredo, the Rasta pasta, from the grill, barbecue pork sandwich, Earl of Chicken sandwich, chicken tender basket, hamburger steak, the Duke potatoes, giant Idaho potatoes, epic potato, loaded baked potato, the Duke salad with house salad and chicken Caesar salad, little royals with chicken nuggets and fries, kids burger and fries, Side items with french fries, side salad, or baked potato. So I got the Royale, a half pound cheeseburger with pepper jack cheese with standard toppings, along with choosing the sourdough bun option. <laughs> This is definitely a hefty burger and it's got a lot of good stuff going on here. So far the structural integrity is holding up very nicely. There's some juicy delicious flavors here and I definitely have to say this is a big hunk of meat with this half pound burger patty. So you're not going to go away hungry from this meal. So this is definitely a larger size burger and it is packed full of a lot of beefy goodness and the cheese is holding everything together very nicely. A lot of times when you get a big piece of lettuce like that you can often get a little slip and sliding going on but so far everything is holding together very nicely and nothing's falling out and the meat is also not crumbling and falling apart so that's also a bonus so they get really good marks here for their structural integrity and it's a very easy burger to eat and uh, I have to say I am impressed with how such a large burger is staying together so nicely along with staying inside of its bun along with all of the other standard components now here we are it's going down very easily and I gotta say this is definitely one easy eating burger with some good flavor it's uh, got a nice texture all around the sourdough bread part is okay it's probably not my favorite bun flavor at the moment but it'll do the job and it looks nice overall okay so that burger went down way faster than i thought it would that's a really large cheeseburger now let's try this french fry mm, okay so 
They're fried perfectly. It's a nice uh, crisp on the outside, a little fluffy on the inside style. A French fry exactly the way you'd want it. And here we go again. We got a few more little French fries to start polishing up. And I'm so full, it's kind of hard to eat these French fries. That burger alone was quite a meal. All right, here's the last fry. Let's see if I can get it in. Ooh. All right, just like I destroyed this cheeseburger and fries, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this giant burger and fries. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. Everybody's favorite moment arrived, and the bill was put on the table, and the total was $18.53 before tip. Thanks so much to everybody that was at the Duke. If you haven't guessed by now, this business has sadly closed, and as we say in New Orleans, it ain't there no more. So the Duke has permanently closed, and the burgers were really big, and it was an interesting place. So it's always very unfortunate to see a business close like this, along with it happening far too often these days as there's so many places that have had really rough times between the pandemic situation and then Hurricane Ida that we've lost more than our fair share of businesses due to all of these situations. So thanks so much to all of you for tuning into the Knowledge Ant channel, especially to my Patreons. And would you kindly just take a moment to go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts who would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then just go ahead and tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Knowledge Jet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.